Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've like done an actual video. I mean I uploaded a cruise vlog to the Norwegian Fjords like a few weeks ago, but now this is an actual sit down video. How exciting. It's been like eight months. But you know, sometimes life just gets in the way and Today I'm going to be talking about this new piercings, that one's sticking out a bit, these two new piercings that I got which are Helix piercings and I'll be talking about them, I got them done six weeks ago now and I'm also going to give an update on my date which I got done nine months ago. If you haven't seen my first day video when I just got it on I'll link it up at the top here and down below so you can go watch that. But yeah, let's get into the video. So this is my piercing up close. I've got two two little piercings right here. As you can see, very cute and I don't know if I can show you the behind of it. That's what the back of it looks like. Very, very long jewellery. But yeah. This is my piercings. Cute. So what you just saw there, that was my these are my two new piercings. So they're just called helix piercings as anything else, but they're quite low down helix piercings. Um, so I'm going to start with, I got it done six weeks ago. The pain level out of a 10, I want to say. Like a 2 or a 3. The first one, it didn't hurt that much. Like, she put it through and I, it was just sort of like a, and I was like, oh, okay. And then she put the earring through, it's my the her putting the jewellery through hurt more than her actually putting the needle through. But she put the jewellery through and I was like, oh, that hurt a bit. But it was done and I was like, oh, I can't even feel it. It was fine. And she was like, okay, I'm going to do the second one now. She did the second one and the second one hurt a little bit more. But just because I think my adrenaline had gone from the first one. And where it already, my ear had already started to swell because of the first one. So my ear was already a bit sore. So the second one did pinch a bit more. But again, it was like a three two it really wasn't that bad compared to my date which was like horrendous but yeah it really wasn't that bad i've been taking pictures of it like every single week <laughs> every time i clean it i take a picture of it just to watch the progress so i'll see if i can like insert a photo somewhere of just after i have it done <laughs> It was really really bruised on the back and swollen which of course is obvious it's healed really nicely i think it was bruised for about a week and then it started to go down i think it's still a bit swollen so she said to me that these would take six weeks to heal but i don't i they're still sore like it's been six weeks and they are still sore like they're not really sore but they're just a bit sore at the back and like when i clean it it's a bit sometimes it still feels a little bit bruised but the bottom one is healed a lot quicker than the top one. And I think that's because the bottom one has basically just gone through flesh. Where it's so low down, it's like basically right near, next to my lobe. The bottom one has just gone through flesh. Whereas the top one has gone through cartilage. So the bottom one I could probably change now. But the top one I couldn't. But I'm not, I think I'm going to leave them both in for at least another month and then change them. But other than that they've been healing really well. I can move them in and out. Let's see, the bottom one, I'm moving in and out fine, but the top one, like, ow, it's stuck. I can twist it. There you go, I went through now. You see what I mean? Like, the bottom one, I can wiggle it around, <laughs> but the top one. No, that's the bottom one. The top one is still a little bit sore to push in and out. So, I think the top one went through like an um, actual cartilage, whereas the bottom one just sort of went through more skin. So, the bottom one is actually healed a lot quicker. I mean, it's still sore. Do you know what I mean? It feels like when you've, someone scratched you and you touch it and it feels a bit sore. That's kind of what it feels like. But the top one still feels bruised. Even though it's not, 
the top one is still slightly more swollen than the bottom one. <laughs> so we've definitely got different healing times, but I'm going to leave them both in for like another month and then see what it's like after that. And then see if I want to change it. But yeah, that's those two piercings. They weren't really that bad. I really want to get like the surface tragus piercing or vertical tragus. Some vertical tragus just actually go through the bone, but surface tragus just goes like there. They pinch your skin and they pierce it there. I really want that done. That looks really cute. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, that's my two helix piercings. It's been six weeks, like I said, and yeah, I'm going to leave it for another month before I do anything to them. Now to my dath update, so my dath it's been, what has it been, it's been, what did I say, it's nine months, it's been nine months, and um, I haven't changed it yet, and see it's still sore, it's still healing nine months later and it's still healing, like, oh, <laughs> basically like I cleaned it, I think I cleaned it for like, four weeks every day religiously and then I saw after four weeks I did it every other day and then after six weeks I was sort of just doing it once a week and you should really clean it every single day for three months and I'm cleaning it with salt water yeah salt water <laughs> I was gonna say salt water with salt in it like what <laughs> but yeah you should really clean days like every single day for three months but I cleaned it every day for four weeks and then sort of did it every other day and then once a week and then I just stopped completely and around like two, three months, I think it was, I got um, those keloids on it either side. So I literally got it at both ends of the piercing. I got two keloids on it. And um, I then started cleaning it more when I got them. I cleaned it every day for a week and it didn't go and I got frustrated so I stopped cleaning it. And then about five months in, I'm, I still have got the keloids and I'm pretty sure now I've got an infection in it think I had an infection because like I went to itch my ear one time and I pulled my ear back and like there's so much crusty gunk inside right where my dath is and I just put my finger in and sort of like went like that and I scraped so much gunk out I know it sounds so disgusting but I scraped so much gunk out of like where my piercing hole is and um gunk was coming out of it and crusting up around my ear for like I don't know two months maybe so definitely got it infected so yeah it was like crossing out I think it was like that yeah for like two months and yeah so I definitely got it infected and I did clean it and it hurt like it hurt to lie on it when it was like that it hurt to lie on it like I couldn't lie on the side again it's like I just I, it was like I just got it pierced again and it had been like five six months so that was really annoying but it was crusting up and I cleaned it every day for two weeks and the, the infection went, went down. I didn't think it went away. I thought it went away. So I stopped cleaning it. And then I still got a little bit of like crusty bits here and there. Not loads like I did before, but still little bits. But since I got my Helix done six weeks ago, I've been cleaning my dates with it every single day. So I've been cleaning these every single day. I've been cleaning my dates every single day for the past six weeks as well. And the infection's finally gone the um what they're called the keloids have finally gone down they're still there and it's still a bit red raw red sore but they've gone down they've gotten smaller and they're, they're f like they're flat but the surface area is still red where they were if that makes sense so like i can wiggle like i haven't been able to wiggle my dave jewelry around for the whole like nine months i've had it but now after these six weeks of cleaning every day i can finally wiggle my dave jewelry round and it doesn't hurt ow <laughs> i say that it still gets stuck though like i can wiggle it backwards and forward i don't know if you know what i mean i can wiggle it backwards and forwards like that but i can't actually move it around because it still hurts it still gets stuck from the keloid but i always i've been taking pictures of that of the keloid progression as well so i'll put those But I'll show you what my keloid, my keloid, I'll show you what my diff looks like now. Anyways. Now. 
So I mean, I can wobble it backwards and forwards, but I can't twist it. Oh, ow, see, that really hurt. But yeah. So that's what my day looks like now. And actually, I should have been using so I know me, I'm a really lazy person. <laughs> I knew that I, to make up the salt water mixture, warm water every single night is, especially when you're just late at night and you don't want to keep waking my parents up, keep going outside, the, out, out my room into the kitchen, it gets a bit frustrating. So um, I knew that I would get lazy and I would stop cleaning with salt water, no matter how much that I want to. So what I did is went on eBay and I bought this little saline solution spray so that when I do, or when I am too lazy, or when I do forget to make up the salt water solution, I can spray this on my ears, spray it on a cotton bed and wipe around it, and it's just a really quick solution. Like, it's not as good, obviously, as doing salt, your own salt water, warm water mixture, but it's better than nothing. And I actually think that this spray has helped my keloids clear up a lot quicker than that salt water solution was because they've only just gotten smaller within the fifth week because it got to the beginning of the fifth week and they were still quite big and I was like why are they not going down and then by the end of the fifth week when I got this they started to go down so yeah so when I do forget to do my salt water solution which is like I don't know two three times a week I'll spray this on my ear actually I'll do it now so I'll spray it on my ear Spray it on the front and back of this one, and then I get a cotton bud, a cotton bud, spray it on the cotton bud, and then just clean around it. See, it's still sore, this one is still sore where the keloids are, but it doesn't hurt as much as it used to, so progress. And then I'll push these ones forward, and I clean around them. And then I push them back and clean the back of them. But yeah, I do exactly the same with um, my salt water solution that I make up. Push them forward, clean around them, push them back, clean around them. But when I forget the salt water solution, this is just as good. And I got this from Amazon. And if I find it, I'll leave the link for it down below. But it's pretty good. It's just a... I know they tell you not to use these sort of pre-made chemical salt water solutions for piercings but honestly it's, I feel like it's better than nothing and I feel like it's helped my keloid um, clear up more than the salt water solution I was making was clearing it up. Does that makes sense? I feel like that didn't make any sense. <laughs> but yeah. So that is my helix piercing that I got done six weeks ago and my date update for my piercing hopefully. This clean, clears up. Oh, I'll try and do an update after a year. And when I change my pierce, my jewelry for the first time in my day, I'm going to film that too. Because, oh, I'm terrified to do that. And I found some really nice jewelry today for it. But I'm terrified to do that. But I'm not going to do it yet. It still hurts. So I'm not going to do it yet. It's still healing. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was informative if you are looking to get a date or a helix. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.